Wilkinsburg police with a big investigation on their hand. Two shootings overnight, four victims. Now neighbors are on edge. Gun violence ringing out along Swissvale Avenue and Rebecca Street late Sunday night. We heard like, you know, really loud gunshots, like, like just like a booming sound, like, you know, not quite like firecrackers, but I mean, honestly, almost like a shotgun or something like that. And we heard about four or five rounds. Vanessa Young lives down the street from the violence and said by the time she realized what was happening, it was too late to react. It's just really scary because you know, I have children. Like they were in bed sleeping. And the last thing I want to think about when I just put my kids to sleep is if I got to get down. So, you know, for, for fear that shots come through. My apartment. Police confirm three people were shot, all taken to the hospital. To know that that's going on right, right outside your window is, you know, it's terrifying, you know, because you, most of the time, nothing happens to you, but what if that were to happen to us? It was only right down the street. Hours later, and about a mile away on Wesley Street, another shooting. This time, a man gunned down inside his home. I'm just really appalled because. It's usually really quiet and nothing but kids on the street. And you guys said it happened overnight. Nobody really knows. That's scary. It's really scary not knowing something happened right next to me. Police have not released the condition or identities of any of the victims. A motive is also unclear. Now, people living along both of these streets are left begging for the violence to stop before an innocent bystander gets hurt. It was horrible. Like shootings everywhere. And it's sad because people's getting hurt. For no reason, just because of drama. Like, it shouldn't even be that real of a situation when people's losing their lives. Like, this is happening every day in different places and everything. It's not fair. Like, it's really not fair. In Wilkinsburg, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.